Welcome to Chuck's Last Stop. Today we have a special treat for you. Straight from Haystack Corners, everyone give a hand to the Dixie Bells. Hey Harv can I sit? There is news about the president. Have a seat Chuck. I always enjoy having you here. What is that about the president? Well they are saying that he may be removed shortly for incompetence. The media is always saying that. I have crops to attend to and a daughter to raise. Big city problems don't matter to me. How is Sarah anyway? Oh there she is. Sarah is growing up fast. She is quite a little lady. It has not been easy after her mother caught that bug and passed away. Raising her and keeping crops in the field is quite a challenge. She is growing up fast Harv. It won't be that long and she will be out on her own. That is a scary thought, Chuck, but they never stop growing. Is everything ready? Once we start there is no going back. Air Force One will be taken down. We have taken care of the escort. What about the Vice President? Can we get to him? We have gotten his security detail out of the way. There should be two secretaries in there. We will take them out. Okay when does Air Force One take off? How are you going to take it down? We have a plane and a pilot. Air Force One will be shot down. 
our look-alike for the president is ready and will give a speech that will make him look really bad. Excellent. I need also to talk to that doctor about the mass programming. Doctor is the brainwashing program ready? Our plans depend on it. I need to know what exactly this is for. I have ethical principles. And that is why you have a number of suits facing you. I have pulled your butt out of the fire and now it is time for payback. How does this work? We added the drug to the school lunches. The activation is a hypersonic pulse sent through their phones. It cannot be reversed, but it will give you unprecedented loyalty. They will be like zombies. Do you have a demonstration for me? Here we have two girls, and I will send my zombies in for you to command. Don't you want to stay and watch? Not really. I don't want to see what you are going to do to them. You are such a moral person. Strike the girl on the right. <coughs> now hit the girl on the left. Hit her hard. Go out and send in the other test subject. Hit both of the girls. Don't hold back. Then kill both of them. How do you all like working for the president? I am non-political. Generally, I don't mind working for him. I find it exciting, though the security checks were a pain. They get used to you after a while. The Secret Service I mean. I am from the Midwest, and we are not used to it but I will work at it. It is time to go. They are wheeling the plane out. Air Force One en route to Los Angeles. All systems normal. Captain, our escort is missing. They are off radar. Scan for all aircraft within 100 miles. I am contacting base. Captain there is an aircraft closing fast on our flank. It is on an attack vector. Mayday, Mayday this is Air Force One. We are under attack. Repeat our escort is gone. Request fighters immediately. And so my fellow Amerks I would talk about the shape of the economy. It, it is strong and it is growing. Me thinking is that we will be just fin. Excuse me ladies and gentlemen. I needs to go for a time. my security detail. Mr. Vice President, come with me. You will not be harmed. I will have your hides for this. I will have you arrested. Come with us now or you will be shot here. The choice is yours. You. One of the newest members of Congress. What are you doing?
I am giving you the chance to step down from your position right now and I will let you live. I don't give in to threats. As President of the Congress, I am removing you from the House of Representatives. All three of you are under arrest. No I don't think so. Ice him. Put out a medical report that he contracted a rare medical condition and died. Well the president sure faked out the media. I guess he just wanted some privacy for a change. That's the way it is with rich playboys. This job comes with some perks, like good looking blondes. What about this plane? It does not even look aerodynamic enough to fly. It is supposed to have special properties like an invisibility system and anti-gravity. Anti-gravity? Now I have heard everything. Captain I am getting a Mayday from Air Force One. It is garbled but I am certain it is a Mayday and they are saying that they are under attack. Confirmed Captain. There appears to be a plane headed right for it. Make us invisible. Activate stealth mode. It looks like they have been hit. They are going down. Get the secret service to wake the president. So break it down for me. What happened here? We believe Air Force One was shot down and an imposter was used to make you look bad. The news reports say you have been relieved and the vice president died of a rare tropical disease. You mean that someone impersonated me? When I get my hands around his neck I... Mr. President, we have bigger problems than that. This is a coup, Mr. President. We suspect that freshman woman in the house. She is an airhead. Why do you suspect her? She is no airhead, Mr. President. She is ruthless and conniving. Where do you suggest we land? We cannot stay aloft forever. I know of an island in the Caribbean that has an airstrip. It is used by the cartels but we don't believe it has been in use lately. There should be fuel there. We should be okay as long as we don't run into them. Why not land in Miami and let the press see that I am okay? We cannot allow the coup leaders to know you are still alive. Also, we cannot trust the press to report things honestly. The communications from the plane were jammed, and they will laugh if we tell them Air Force One was shot down. Head for the island you mentioned. I want to hit our first target on our way to the great socialist state. Do you have any suggestions? There is an independent school that would be perfect. 
It is called Saint Magdalene's School. They have been refusing to teach our doctrine. Excuse me, but isn't that mostly a school for young women? Yes it is, but we need to make an example out of it. An attack will help to bolster gun control. It is a soft target. Do we have enough guns that cannot be traced? We have enough for now, but that could change. There aren't that many. We will use them there to help bolster gun control, but we may need to use cruder methods in the future. Make it a good killing. I want casualties to make an example out of that school. Peaches how is my girl? I know it has been a while. Everything is going great daddy. This town is a little low on boys you know. Yes I know Peaches. You will find someone. It is only a matter of time. Here I don't have as many crooks to bust so I will have a little more time for you. Mr. Gale are you a cop? I did not know. Yes we moved here from a larger city. The worst I have had to break up is a barroom brawl here and there. That sounds exciting. I am sure we are all glad that you are here. May I help you? You look lost. I am looking for books on the capitalist exploitation of the masses. Oh my I am not sure how much we have on that subject but feel free to look. Hey girls I know we are all busy with tests right now, but why don't we get together and head into town sometime? We'll get together. There is not much to do here but we will find something. Maybe some dancing out in the yard would be fun. Well I am going to turn in for tonight. Good night girls. This is Officer Gale. Possible active shooter situation at the college. Request immediate backup.
Mr. President we have landed. It looks pretty desolate. All of us will have to search for food sources and fresh water. This ship has enough for about three months. We are going to look for fuel as well. There is something disturbing Mr. President. There appears to be recent activity. Can you tell who it is? No Mr. President. It looks like this place is occupied. There is someone outside who wants to speak to you. He calls himself Dr. Margus. I know him. Send him in. Well doctor it has been some time. I was not expecting you here. You are not the only one who is surprised. It is not every day the president drops in your backyard. So why are you here? Weren't you involved in energy research? I was involved with it. I found out that there were powerful forces that did not want solutions. Powerful forces? 
The oil companies? Not so much them. It is the green lobby who doesn't want it. I mean real solutions like superconductors made of ordinary materials. My crystallization procedure made that, and I also made batteries that could hold a million times the charge of standard lead acid batteries. The clean energy lobby did not want that. Why? Mr. President, it is about control, not energy. I barely escaped and drifted here in a boat. The dwellings have been abandoned by the cartels. I don't have much fuel for you unfortunately. You will need to make do. There is plenty of food and water here. Report on the college attack. It was mostly a success. The politicians are all pressing for gun control. We lost two of your zombies. Why is that? It was supposed to be a soft target. There was an off-duty cop there, apparently visiting his daughter. There is another problem. We spotted a plane in the vicinity of Air Force One, but it suddenly vanished. The flamboyant president may have escaped. Keep a watch for him. As it goes this will not influence strategy any. Next I want to hit the power oil company. Everyone give a warm welcome to the Dixie Bells, playing here today for your pleasure. Care to introduce me to your friend Sarah? Okay daddy. To my left is Ginny and to my right is Lucy. Happy to meet you Mr. Langley. Sarah has told me all about you. I am very glad she has. What about you Ginny? We are classmates of Sarah's, all the same age, 14. It's nice meeting you. Come on Harv. Dance with me. It looks like you could use some cheering up.
April take down the following information. Company profit is up 5% and we are planning some profit sharing. You will get a nice bonus. Thank you sir. I sure can use it. I love having you here. I will step out for lunch. Everything looks good. I will need to hire some new field workers. Prices are headed up for the summer. It's a great time to be in this business. This is the target. We go in and we trash the place. Leave no survivors. Who are you? Get out of here. Leave now. Someone call the police. We are here to rid the world of capitalist exploitation.
It looks like a stunning success. We are shutting down the oil companies. Well done. Where is my assistant? She has vanished, along with our most sensitive files and that doctor. How can that happen? Where is she? We don't know, but it appears that the two developed a conscience and ran away together. We cannot allow them to release the information. Can we trace them? We are working on that. The oil supplies are being shut down one by one. As soon as the gas stations run out of fuel they won't have anywhere to go. We think they are headed toward the state capital. Arrange for the gasoline tanks at the service stations along the way to be emptied. Make up an excuse like inspections. I need to visit the ladies' room. How much longer do we put up with this maniac? As soon as the power structure is in place we will deal with her. Until then, she is our ticket. I am sorry Harv, we don't have any gas or diesel. No one does. Why? You have never had a problem before. All the stations reported the same thing. Fuel trucks emptied their tanks while they were sleeping. They will put independents like me out of business. That includes us farmers. Have you tried calling them? I have not been able to get through. Some kind of interference. Sorry folks, no gas. How long will it be? We are almost out. I don't know. The townspeople at Henry's Knee just down the road might be able to put you up for a few days. I am Harv Langley. We can put you up over at my farm. Follow me. Remember our cover story is that we are married and going to my aunt's funeral. We might be going to our own funeral. We believe we have them. There is a rural farming area where they would have been forced to stop for gas. The cell towers have been pinging two cell phones from a different area code. 
I am not feeling very inspired here. Are those phones theirs? No. They may have gotten rid of their own phones, I don't know. Two towers overlapped and where they did, there are two different towns. Haystack Corners is one, and the other is Henry's Knee. Take the helicopter and land in a discreet location. You will need to go on foot. How do we go about this? We can't search everyone's house you know. Quietly ask questions. Look around. Try to make it appear that you are looking for two friends. So this is Haystack Corners. A fly's peck on the map and we are reduced to scour around it. We won't be here for long. Soon it will be all over and we will be in power. May I help you gentlemen? This is the studio for the Dixie Bells. We are an all-girl band. We are looking around for a couple of friends from out of town. A dark male and a pretty woman with black hair. Have you seen them anywhere? I haven't. We were getting ready to rehearse and the other two girls will be around shortly. Would you like to stay? No we will be going. Thanks anyway. There is a hot dog joint. Let's eat lunch and continue after that. Waitress we will have your advertised special, both of us. We are looking for a couple of friends, a dark skinned man and a pretty black haired girl. Have you seen them? No I have not. I can ask around if you like. I need to get someone a coffee refill. Excuse me. Harv I have the plate number on your guests. Information has been scanned coming through, but it is a rental from across state. Well thanks Sheriff. I would just like to know who I let in my house. They have paid me cash. There is another thing Harv. A couple more city folks have come looking for what sounds like these two. Their helicopter landed in a cornfield. Don't forget the phones and internet being unreliable, and the lack of gas. Yes I was just leading up to it. I was hoping you could do a favor for me. Anything Sheriff. I owe you anyway. You can quietly start asking the local men in Henry's Knee and Haystack Corners to update their guns. Oil them up and get them ready. It must be you are expecting trouble. More than you know Harv. It is an unusual request I realize, but I may need extra deputies. Hi there. I am Lonnie Zoom, and I thought I would check your place out. You must be tired. Where did you ride from? From Azure Hills, five miles down the line. This is an oasis of sorts. We have been hoping for news from the outside. Come on in. This is Lonnie Zoom. I guess all he has is a bicycle. Harv and Sarah are my guests. The Dixie Bells will be up soon. They are always a treat to be seen and heard. What brings you here to our sleepy little town? I am a drifter, going from town to town. Now tell us who you really are. Sarah you are being rude. I am going to ground you young lady. Your daughter is right. She must be highly perceptive. Major Lonnie Zoom, US Air Force. I was testing you briefly. You may not know what is happening. You mean about the gas? We already know about it. You don't know the scope. It is all over the country. I am in Air Force Intelligence. One wicked woman appears to be responsible. She is the new representative. She is shutting down the fuel industry. I cannot imagine why or how. 
the wicked woman has perpetrated a coup. Air Force One has been shot down. We believe the president is still alive, but has been deposed. We are mostly farming folks. Spell it out. The wicked woman uses mind-altered teenagers to attack various targets, including oil refineries, schools, and more. There is a doctor, Jonas Abrams, and possibly a female companion. The doctor created the process, using drugs in school lunches and ultrasonic waves spread through cell phones. We believe the woman may have been working for the wicked representative, then changed her mind. Let me guess. He is a short, darker-skinned man and she is a little taller with black hair. Yes how did you? Oh no, if they are here you are in danger. We believe the wicked woman is trying to find them and kill them. They are headed toward the state capital to turn over the information. Why isn't the Air Force working on disclosing this? Where is the vice president? Is he in on it? We are working on it, but she controls the media. At the capital they should have clearer lines of communications. We are trying to get military units organized. Who will they fight? The zombie hordes that are massing. I knew they were massing for an attack on this area. I just did not know why. Can we somehow get the information they have to the state capital? Azure Hills has been defying the wicked woman. They still have gas. If I just had a vehicle I could get there and warn the governor. I think we have just the thing. I have brought all three of you here to discuss what to do with your situation. We know you two are on the run. So you found us out. Then you know what is going on. We need to get that information to the authorities. The problem is, I don't trust you two to do the job. Lonnie here is with Air Force Intelligence. Your vehicle is too hot. I have a small car that was impounded a while ago. Lonnie, as much as I would like to have you here to coordinate our defense, I would like you to take Sheila with you to the capital. Will do. I will lay out a battle plan for you before we go. What will I do? Sit in jail? Either that or you can aid us in understanding and defeating this enemy. You should just abandon your communities instead of fighting. That won't happen. We will hold our ground. It is glorious. We have brought the country to its knees. We need to start sending just enough aid to keep them from revolting. They already are. Riots have broken out in many places. Our zombies can stop that. What's this about a town that defied the gasoline confiscation? It is called Azure Hills. We have enough zombies to teach them a lesson. A church function is going on there, a picnic if I am not mistaken. It is a perfect target. Let them have it, 
then deliver a message to them that we are not to be defied. And now the sermon is over, enjoy a free picnic soon. Pastor I am Lonnie Zoom, Air Force Intelligence. All your people are in grave danger. Surely you must know about the fuel situation. You should cancel this event and send your people home. They must arm themselves. Son we are doing the Lord's work here. The devil shall not prevail. We are not talking about a devil here. You are about to be attacked. Son why don't you join us for fellowship as we eat? I can't. I have to go. Get your people to shelter.
How are preparations going Harv? Maybe 90 to 100 men have joined me. When we get done here I am headed to the gun shop. I have an idea. I am willing to listen to anything. What is your idea? In Henry's knee we have an old cannon that should still work, if Mark can supply enough black powder and ammunition. That will help. Doctor how many of these zombies can we expect? It depends on how many of your teenagers eat school lunches and use cell phones. I was going to suggest to you that you take the batteries out of your cell phones. They are used for activation. We don't have that many kids who do eat the school lunches. That is fortunate, but many will be coming from the outside. We are getting sandbags and barriers in place. There are several towns in between in the direction. Is there any way to warn them? We can use the same method that Lonnie used, bicycles. With the power out and the gas gone that is about all we have. We can call it the Bicycle Express. We can do relays town to town. Start broadcasting to the small towns around the area where those two are supposed to be. We are, but we don't know how many will get the signal with the power out everywhere. Can't we turn the power on for a while? Make things seem normal? Go ahead. Maybe we can make a few more of our zombies from the population there. I need to speak to the mayor here. We don't have a formal mayor here. Maybe I can help. Come inside the school. It is out of session, 
though there are a few girls hanging around. All of you are in danger. Your towns are about to be attacked. We know. There is no gas, but the power is back on. You need to get the cell phones away from your teenagers. They can be used to turn them violent. Come now, is this a joke? How can a phone do that? Your kids if they eat school lunches may have been given a drug. The cell phone activates it. You talk like a crazy woman. There is a psychiatrist a few towns down the road. Yes we don't have any gas either. I can barely hear you. Oh I hear and obey. Kill, kill, kill. I want to get together with you as soon as I can. I know we have no gas but maybe we can ride horses. Oh. I hear, I obey. Kill, kill, kill.
How many shots can we get from this cannon, Haru? I got enough black powder for about 10 to 15 shots. The blacksmith in haystack corners has been working overtime making small iron and steel balls for ammunition. Good old fashioned grape shot. Excellent. They will hit haystack corners first, and then they will be here shortly after that. The sheriff has deputized many town citizens. I expect some attacks here at the same time or before. We are not talking about marching columns of soldiers, but a disorganized bunch of psychopaths. Look here come some now. Cannon unit, stand ready. Rooftop units, load your guns. Infantry units, commence firing. Fire at will. Here they come. All deputies, attack invaders. Commence firing. We have limited ammunition. Make every shot count. Let me have a gun. I will fight for you. Why do you want to fight? I am partially responsible for this situation. If I am to die, I want to die for a purpose. I will get you a gun. Good luck. Sheriff, I have a way to help. That old barnstorming plane I have. It has enough gas for about half an hour in the air, and enough ammo for a few strafing runs. I loaded it myself. You mean that old bird can actually fly? It will do the job until I run out of gas or bullets. Well go get it off the ground before they destroy it.
This is the home of those Dixie Bells. We go in and interrogate one at a time. What did you learn the last time? Not much. We have to hurry as the zombies are in the area. They are out of control. Who are you? Get out. Oh no. Not you. Tell us what we want to know and we will let you go. I don't know anything. Let us go. Leave this place. Jot her memory. Slap her. Make it hurt. <coughs> 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 Maybe this will focus your attention. Zap her. Rough her up. There has to be one of them who will talk.
I knew this was a waste of time. What do we do with them? Leave them. These people are defenseless. The zombies will destroy them.
are out of ammunition. Issue batons to all deputies. Tell them to kill anyone who appears to be compromised. Okay we will. What can we do? We are scared. You are not the only ones. We will try to keep them off you. Good luck. We will find some way. Fire the cannon again. Fire. They just keep coming. How many more shots on the cannon? Two or three more shots, possibly. We are running low on powder and ammunition. Fire again. Concentrate on ones with guns. Hand to hand with the others. Chuck I have an idea. These zombies don't seem to have much left in cognitive skills. We can use decoys. Decoys. What do you mean? There are several around here in the stores. We can put them where the zombies can see them and then ambush them from behind. See to it. I will inform the men.
It is over. We lost a lot of good people but we won. I am so glad. We were terrified. How many did we lose? Are my loved ones okay? I don't know yet. Where did you get the ammunition for the gun you had? I found the gun in the back along with a clip. Maybe you would be interested in a deputy's position? It looks like it is over. I have not seen any in an hour. I agree though we will still have to be on our guard, looking for stragglers. Without power and fuel, 
it will be a totally different story for us. We will need to learn all over again. Yes we will all have to learn new skills, making lamp oil from animal fat, building log cabins and using pails to draw water. It's a brave new world all right Chuck. Look hard. What on earth is that? It looks like an army truck, but how? Hey you guys. Can you move those sandbags and that cannon? We have a battle to fight, but it looks like one has already been fought. It has soldier. You are a little late to the party. How did you find us? We were on our way to a bigger city when we got orders to divert here. Rumor is that an FBI woman and an Air Force intelligence officer pushed for it. Now let's move this stuff. We will do mop up. An aid caravan will be here shortly. It's bad out there, with people sometimes living in caves and eating rats. This isn't so bad. I could get used to this. Mr. President, this is Commander Tom Painter. I checked his ID. He came here by raft. Mr. President, we need you back. Can you fly back to the mainland? How did you find us? We don't have enough fuel. The carrier Gerald Ford is waiting. Your plane can land on its flight deck. We picked up its signal. How is everything? Is the country intact? What about the coup leader? The country is starving Mr. President. Please come back with us. The wicked woman is, well, restrained at the moment. Get everyone on the plane. We are going home. What is wrong with these people? We offered them utopia. Utopia by 2050. Why are they so ungrateful?